hello guys so welcome back and uh, let's continue it from the, my last video we talk about the various type of virtual network connections if you have not seen that uh, the link is in description box for the, my last video you can check it out that and the entire series for Azure Bignos to Professional is also in the description box link so you can take it from there so let's start and today I'm going to show you how we can configure uh, point to site VPN and that is based on the certificate based authentication first so for that uh, let's start just go on uh, click uh, create a resource here and I need to type uh, just virtual network gateway or uh, virtual network it will show okay now I'll be getting an option to create it click on create okay and the azure portal i'm going to creating it so here it will ask you to select the subscription and then need to type the information so i'm just typing it app vpn okay just select the type of region type root and it should be as a root based or uh, whatever you want to take like it could be as a policy base so we can select it as per our requirement right now i am taking it as a root base only but it would be totally depends um, if you want to take it as a root base or you want to take it on a policy base apart from that you have to select uh, as you get the vpn gateway series kit this is the information the type offered in the as you can see, so it's a starter kit like uh, the kit you will be getting or the type of gateways, those are supported. So you can select it. I have taken it uh, basic and it's a generation one only. Here it asks me to configure or select a virtual uh, network. So right now I don't think so. I have uh, this one should cannot be associated. So I need to create a new. I'm just creating a new VPN gateway here. Okay, the name is. app i'm taking it app vnet as a new virtual network and i'm not going to take in the same resource group so i'm taking it as a different group also i'm just going to create a new virtual network here and i will associate this network with this vpn and then later on i will create a vm or a server and i will associate it that server to this vm i can also use the existing vms uh, to connect it or i can also use the existing vms to set or configure it with the same network so i am creating it new then it will ask me to select a public ip if i want or i don't want to create a new i have taken it uh, and public ip name i'm just taking it as a app vpn prp it's public ip so once you fill up this information you can just put the tag if you want otherwise you can go ahead and directly create it tagging is something which we discussed like uh, you can assign the tag to multiple resources uh, single tag so that with the name of that tag you can call it or uh, fetch all it so deployment it in progress it take a couple of minutes so let's wait till that time it's uh, deployment in progress so what we can do we have to generate a certificate one is for the um, root certificate and another one is for client as a recommended approach we must deploy the certificate for the individual clients uh, it's a independent certificate so let me go in the meantime and show you so you have to just open your windows powershell to generate a root ca otherwise if you want you can uh, take the root ca certificate right now i have not deployed any ca so i am going to take it from here only then uh, let me quickly open my mmc and show you so right now i don't have a certificate added or available here i will generate both root ca as well as a client certificate here okay so i don't have uh, 
certificate here let's go back okay so i will uh, share this script in uh, our uh, description box so you can take it from there so this is basically used to create a certificate uh, self sign certificate with for a root ca and another one i am going to show you it's for the client client sir i will share these two certificate script these are nothing else just a new powershell uh, new certificate powershell script normally used uh, to create certificate so we have created uh, two certificate now one is for uh, client and one is for a server or a root ca if i go in the local certificate so these two are generated now what we have to do we have to copy this certificate and install it certificate in our client and in this certificate we have to configure it in our vpn gateway as a root cert so i'm just exporting these two certs at my desktop i'm exporting it with the private key just to keep it or i just leave it as it is without private key not required for the root ca right now okay uh, 64 already here it's fine I will copy the uh, certificate generation script in description box so you can use that for the client I am exporting it with a private key okay In the same way we can deploy the multiple certificates also like for the CL1 I have I choose this if I want I can just update the name of this subject name in the PowerShell this one uh, name of this here like this and then I can generate it two three four five number of certificates whatever I want okay so now though these two certificates are generated and I have already exported both also let me see the deployment is still in progress so let's wait for a couple of minutes once it get it uh, completed then we will continue it may take few minutes around five to ten minutes not more than that okay so now we can see the deployment is complete uh, we have to configure a couple of things uh, as a configuration settings so I'm just clicking on go to resource and now this is what exactly we have deployed that's app VPN is the name which we have selected for this uh, virtual network gateway and deployment is completed now and I will be back in the next video with uh, point to site configurations and how we can map the certificate configuration and the root CA in this so keep watching this channel and i have already shared the link of next video in the description box so you can take it from there and i will show you configuration for the client as well as for this server so that's all about uh, this video guys and we connect in the next one thank you